Hi guys, so it's late August, so I thought I'd give you an update on how the melons are doing in the suspended pot deep water aquaponics. So they're in our dustbins or trash cans if you like, and um, the melons themselves are growing very well. It's um, mid-afternoon, so it's really quite warm in the greenhouse, uh, and now's a good time just to see how the melons are doing and how the water's doing. So taking a look at the plants themselves, you can see that they're quite dry because it's mid-afternoon, it is quite hot, but the melons are growing quite well. So if I just put my hand here, you can see just as a scale that the melons themselves are actually doing quite well um, and are now getting to a decent size and hopefully um, you know, we're looking for them to start to ripen off as it gets towards the end of the summer. As we look on to another one, you can see that the melons here in this particular one are really quite large. Um, and it's getting to a size where it's almost ready to uh, to eat, just need it to ripen off. The plant itself is growing particularly well, it's climbing up well, there's lots of new growth at the top, um, but we've limited the actual growth of the melons to between sort of three and four melons per plant. So apart from the melons themselves and the plants, the all important part is the solution that's got the aquaponic water in and see how that's doing in the containers. So this uh, dustbin has all been covered in white film. Just try and keep the heat down. So let's have a look inside. Okay, if we look inside we can see a mass of roots there that's coming from the plant itself all the way down and that's going into the solution there. Now that's probably taken about a third of the the water that was in there so it's gone down about a third in that container so there's plenty in there and the roots have got plenty for their um, food and, and water at the bottom. If we take a look at the next container so this has got white around the bottom but there's nothing over the top so the top of the container is still black um, see how the heat's affected that Okay, so if we look in this one, again, there's a mass of roots, but then if we go down and actually have a look at the solution, we can see here that this one is around about 50% of the way down the, the actual inside of the container. So that's used a lot more water. So there's probably evaporated um, some out of this one in addition to what the plant's taken. So it is clear that the color of the containers does make a difference. So by covering the container with a white coat and trying to reduce the amount of heat inside it does actually make a difference to obviously the amount of solution that's evaporated. Um, but on both of them, the plants seem to be doing particularly well. All right, thanks very much guys.